First Kings chapter 13 was talking about the man of God from Judah. The prophet of God. What was so remarkable about the story is that the Lord has sent him on an assignment and he's prophesying. But the Lord commanded him that he can't eat food or drink anything, drink any water. And he can't And he can't go out the same way he came in. Why doesn't the Lord want him to drink any water or eat any food on this assignment? Because the food, the water, are both natural impartations. He doesn't want what he's feeding him in the spirit to have any natural impartation of any kind. That's the same thing the Lord does with you. He don't want what he's feeding you in the spirit to have any natural interruption, corruption. That's why oftentimes when you prophetic, he tell you not to watch the news, not to study what natural man is saying. There's a text in the Bible Romans chapter 3, 4. Let God be true in every man alive. Romans chapter 3, 4. So it talks about why does it say every man alive? Because man is a natural realm. It represents a natural realm. When Genesis said, let us make man in our image, that's God saying, let us make the natural realm adapt and come into the supernatural realm. You see that? Well, God was saying, let me take something that's earthly and wrap it into an atmosphere that's heavenly. Let's take what seems like it's dust and pit it amongst treasure. Let us make man the natural realm in our image, the supernatural realm. So oftentimes that's what the Lord do with you. Though you seem like you're natural, though you got a natural body and natural finances and natural things occurring in your life. He'll say, let us make all that's natural in your life in my image. So let us make your finances right now as natural, but let us make it in, in our image. So it's going to become rich. Let us make your emotions, which is natural right now. I might be depressed in our image, which is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Let us take your sickness, which is natural, and make it in our image, which is health. So you see how God is constantly saying, let us make man, the natural realm, in our image and likeness. Constantly. 
constantly. First Kings chapter 13 shows us that this man is not allowed to eat any natural food or any water because he already has water. He already has food. And the Lord don't want anything that comes from the natural to corrupt what he already has in the spiritual. That's why God guards you from conversations. That's why the Lord guards you from people. Because they may be in the realm of man, but you may be in the realm of our image. My God. If you want to go and take a ride with me. Oh, why? <laughs> I noticed Nelly sounded like he was, he was in Portuguese. If you want to go and take a ride with me. Oh, why? So if you realize you can meet people, meet a person that is in the realm of man while you're in the realm of our image and likeness. While you're in the realm of our image and likeness, the realm of man will contradict. So watch this. Now you understand why Romans 3, 4 said, let God be true and every man a liar. Because when I let God be true, his image and his likeness is gonna dominate my thinking. What he promised me going to dominate my expectation. See, I'm showing you when you get to the realm of man, that's when you step into, oh, we are not perfect. I'm struggling. Help me, please. Help me, please. Help me, please. Help me. Help me. Help me, please. Help me. Father, I come to you that you'll help me. You is a present help in the time of trouble. Well, I'm in trouble. Help me, please. Because that's what the realm of man supplies. Struggle, issues, deficiency, insufficiency, sickness, curse, lack. But in the realm of our image and likeness, there's perfection and riches and wealth and money coming and abundance and increase and more than enough and, and no sickness, no sin, no demonic activity of any kind. See, in our image and in our likeness, is where you're fully powerful, you're fully prosperous, and you're fully prophetic. You caught this? See, oftentimes, some of you all that I have taught this personally, I mean, like you privilege, you privilege. Cause, cause see, I, I, I share so much stuff. You just listen to me, you be good. I'm giving you the weapons. See, oftentimes when you feel down and out and discouraged, you don't, you're not catching that you in the let us make man realm. You're not in the image, you're not in the realm of in our image and likeness yet. So you still functioning as man and man is dusty. 
Man is dusty. That's why he made them from the dust of the ground. Man is dusty. You caught that? Man is dusty. That's why he made them from the dust of the ground. But see, when you get to image and likeness, you can dust your feet off from everything that's taken away your peace. Remember what Jesus said, if a house don't receive you, uh, dust your feet off. If it, don't, if it don't show you peace, dust your feet off. What is peace? Wholeness. So you go from dusty, the man realm, to dust your feet off in our image and likeness realm. And that's the place where nothing can affect your wholeness anymore. Nothing can affect or distort you or break you from the wholesome state, the holy state. The holy moly donut shop. Holy moly donut shop, I say. They beat the brakes off of holy moly. They had no respect at all. Ain't he supposed to be holy? Moly. But they still beat the brakes up off of him. Holy, holy moly had Tupac feet, but he went from Tupac feet to E-40 feet. He was crit walking. No, he was... Beat the brakes up off of holy moly, holy moly. Moly to beat the brakes up off of him. To beat the brakes up off of holy moly. You ever thought, what if holy moly did have some good donuts in there, but there were flies all around? Well, holy moly did have some. Whatever holy moly did have some good behind donuts up in here. Whatever holy moly did have some good donuts. That's something the black people trying to get white, the white people trying to get black. <laughs> ain't that about a ain't that about a blue face? Ain't that about a blue face? White people be right there getting tanned and all of that, sitting in the sun. We trying to run from the sun, blessed be his name. <laughs> Ain't that about a blue face? <laughs> I saw this lady. She was so tan. She had looked like rotisserie chicken. That's a, no, I don't mean that in a good way. No, I ain't. I ain't talking about no snack. I said, gee, gee. I, listen, you got to understand. You ever look at a rotisserie chicken? Look at the skin on the rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken, the rotisserie chicken is, you gotta understand what I'm saying. Rotisserie chicken skin, <laughs> it looked like it's melting off, but she was in the daggone sun. She'll melt the skin off. This brother right here. Rotisserie skin. Rotisserie. Rotis. With an S. Tis. Rotis. Tis. With an S. Tis.
Man, let me tell you something. The Lord don't want our image to ever step back into man. But God want your man to step back into our image. That's a wisdom though. God don't want our image to step back into man. But God want man to step back into our image. So watch this. Every day, here's the war. The war is that you are in our image. But man is fighting to get back your attention. And you got to shut off man. And let our image continue to be in control, continue to flow. <laughs> Ain't that about a blue face? See, as long as you let our image and likeness rule and reign, your finances gotta become rich. It got to become wealth. It got to become debt free. Because our image and our likeness is financial dominion. If you keep your finances in the realm of man, cursed is the ground for your sin. See, that's where no sewing go on. That's where no money move. But if you get your finances into our image and likeness, and you start sewing, you start faithfully honoring God with what you have, what's going to happen? Our, our image and likeness. See, First John 4, 17 said, as he is, so are you in the earth. So how is Jesus right now? He's rich because Revelation 5, 12 says uh, he received riches and honor. So he received all these things, right? So what happens when I link up with how he is right now? So am I in this world? So I'm supposed to have his image and likeness on me right now. You think about that. So that's not food stamps, that's financial stamps. Financial stamps. For his image and likeness to sit on me. And when his image and likeness sit on me, financially, Wealth and riches got to be in my house. Psalm 112, 3. The silver and gold is mine. That's what the Lord said. But now because I am a Lord, the silver and gold is mine. So I am, hey, God, 2 8. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You got that? Being a king of kings, lord of lords. See, for me to take up my places in, in kingship and lordship, I become our image. See, a lot of people in the body of Christ have tried to keep people in man. And they have tried to keep people in man concerning who they are. So when somebody pop up and say, I'm a lord or a king, they say, no, 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 that's not possible. No, no, it is possible. But if you in man, it's not going to be possible. But if you in our image and our likeness, our image and likeness produces this. You see? 
Our image and likeness makes you a Lord and makes you a king. 